Hi everyone, so today I've just come to do another Let's Make With You. Um, I was making these journal cards and I thought I would do one on camera so you can see how to make them. They're really quick and easy. Um, uh, so I've got to pick away at some of this cheesecloth here. But they're just using um, images that I've uh, picked out and I've printed, is it nine to a sheet? So that's how I got the size. Um, and then I've just used some ledger paper, which is printable and it's free and it's from um, the old design shop. If you go over to the old design shop on the blog and type in ledger paper, you'll get a good selection that come up. So you can use, you can print them off and use them. If you don't do printables, then you can just use uh, book pages, um, real ledger paper, anything you want. So that's what I've done. So I've made four so far and I'm going to do one for you. So let me find my ruler. So I'll, I'll give you the measurements of the cardstock that I'm using. I'm just using plain white because I'm going to sew <coughs> some coffee dyed paper on the back. So this measures uh, 13 and a half by nine and obviously just depending on the size of the images that you use and then just work with that i just left a border you don't have to leave a border um this measures 13 by eight i think yep eight i should have done it eight and a half but i cut them all and then they, they are what they are now and then the little image obviously that depends again on what images you use and what they come out as this is uh 5.6 oh 5.7 centimeters by eight so i'm just gonna quickly ink everything up i hope everyone is doing well today uh monday well you wouldn't think you wouldn't even know what day of the week it is to be honest i've I'd, sometimes i've got to ask like what day is it <laughs> uh, losing track of it all to be honest um a bit scary really so I'm just inking around there. I don't need to ink the back because I'm going to sew on some coffee dyed paper. But if you're not going to do that, which you don't have to, then you can just ink that up or use coffee dyed paper or uh, pattern cardstock, whatever you like. Get this glue off. I'm using a glue stick and it, you think you've got it all up and there's still a little tiny bit stuck somewhere. So I'll give that a wipe. Right, so I'm just using the glue stick to add that on there because like I said, I'm going to sew around it. So uh, I got these the other day. I think I've mentioned it in a video before. I uh, couldn't get the normal ones that I get from Wilkinson's, which is a store in the UK. Uh, so I went online and I could only get these and they're only the little ones, but I got 25 of them for six pounds something. So it was better than nothing. And I've only used two so far. So I'm just making sure I'm in frame here. I did get myself as well, well, my husband bought it for me, one of the ring lights. Uh, so that when I do my videos in the evening, I've now got the ring light that goes um, behind my phone. So um, I'll try that out later on t tonight to see how that is because I know, and it's not just my videos, sometimes they look orangey. I know some people saying, oh no, they don't, but th some of them have done. Um, but when I'm taking my photographs as well, because I tend to do them in the evening, uh, they can come out very tinted for orange. <laughs> so again, I'm just going to use this. Uh, it's actually quite a good glue. The only thing with it, I think, if you lean too hard on it, you get it gloops out if you know what I mean it's um and then you waste some because it all starts hanging over the edge so just be gentle with it and don't press too hard I'm uh, just going to line that up as best as I can and uh, just put that on there I've got to wipe that up again because I can still feel glue all stuck there I should get a book like see everyone else doing it, you know, get, get a book and just glue things on the book rather than on my mat. But I think about that when it's too late. So what I'm going to do is find some paper. I've been having a really good clear out and sort out the last few days. And um, the things I found, wow, 
um, unbelievable the things that I found. <laughs> uh, I was, as some of you know, I was running out of tickets, and then I found these. I do prefer the white ones, but the um, the green and the red would be great for Christmas and autumn and things like that. But the green's a really nice colour, and I got uh, Crafty Irene I gifted them to me, um, probably about five years ago. And they were in a cupboard, and then there was loads of stuff in front of the cupboard that's been there for about a year. And I, th I was actually looking for my bind it all, because I knew that was in a cupboard somewhere. Uh, and I have got rings, so I'm going to get around to doing a ring binder journal. And then I found two massive big O-rings, you know, the ones you clip again they would be great for doing a ring bound journal so that's something on my to-do list right I'm just going to sew that and then I will be back okay so I've done all the sewing around here and feels nice you can ink it up a little bit more if you want it to look a little bit more grungier um, do you know, I only got this ink pad about two weeks ago and I'm feeling that it's running out already. Maybe because I've used it a lot more than I would normally do, I don't know. But um, it doesn't feel juicy anymore, if you know what I mean. So anyway, I've got some words that um, I printed out on my full memo. I've got memories and I have got timeless and then I've put that onto a little bit of linen fabric and just used my um, these scissors crimping scissors to go around the edge I've got a couple of butterflies as normal so I'm going to use one of them and I'm um, just going to see how many I've got with the butterflies at the top just two well, it doesn't really matter so I've got some cheesecloth as well I'll just cut that and then I'm just going to separate that just makes it go a little bit longer last a little bit longer when you separate it and I'm just going to set that there I think I'll put a word there, which I'm going to use the word memories, I think. Do you know this glue is really good? It doesn't block up the nozzle, doesn't block on it at all. Even when I have forgotten to put the lid on. And the lid is a little tiny thing. It's like a little, that little thing. It's ever so grubby because it's got like glue and ink and everything stuck to it um but yeah it doesn't clog up not like the other one and then another little bit of cheesecloth up here i mean you can decorate this um as you please but i just thought i would show you what i was doing and maybe give you a little idea of something to do and a little bit of bling <clears throat> look how quick and easy that was to do and you know you can sit and make a few of them so I'm not going to pull away at the cheesecloth at the moment because obviously that's still a bit wet actually I'll just hold that in place and pull away and make it a little bit tatty so whoops yeah, it's moving about. I don't want it to do that. Um, oh, there we go. And then I'll just hold that and pull that. But I would recommend that you leave it to dry for at least 10, 15 minutes or a little bit longer or till you actually go to use it and then you can pull it away. So... The reason I, I put bigger bits on because when you pull it away you don't want to be left with nothing underneath there. So there we have it. Easy peasy little journal cards that you can pop in your journal or um, give them away. Do some happy mail. I've actually got a little happy mail thing that um, I'm going to show at some point this week. I've got a list of things that I want to do just to show you um, 
just got and the reason I do these as well it, it's to remind me of things that I've made as well so I can go back onto my playlist which all these go on to the playlist called let's make um, and I can see what I've done because you do forget sometimes like all the things that you've made um, and then when you get to that time where you kind of lose your module a little bit and you want to do something and you can't think you can go back to doing something else and then you might actually find that you you have a new twist on it or you can you know just just turn it into something a little bit different so it doesn't always have to be the same um so yeah so if you have any questions just ask and i will speak to you all soon bye